and Splash is here. What's up guys, I have a 09 automatic. I have a obelisk raw and slifer with me. It's really cool. I'm actually still like smiling. <laughs> He's wearing the flash costume this whole time. But I did his baseline. It's actually really low. The torque is uh, alright, I guess, but 263 wheel horsepower is what the car made. It has short ram intakes, no bueno. It has uh, obviously test pipes and it has a muffler delete, so it's really, really loud. And that's it. He said he already replaced the motor. Supposedly, it has nine. It has about a hundred thousand miles, and the chassis has one hundred forty-eight thousand miles. I actually didn't ask him how it blew. Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he does. I'll probably ask him after. So that's the baseline. I'm uploading the first tune I just made for his car, and hopefully, it just needs a tune, and nothing's wrong with this motor either. And this car, uh, it's never been tuned by anyone, not by me, uh, not by another tuner. Uh, but actually, you know what? He had like a tuning flash thing in there. Uh, I've never seen it before, but I told him to remove it. So I'm um, wondering if that's how the other motor blew. He, he bought that thing online and um, maybe it actually did something. That one looks a little bit more legit than those uh, cheap $60, $100, $200 flash things that don't do anything like my other video. They're not even connected to anything. So maybe that one is what caused his motor to blow because if, if that does actually do something, then obviously it's a tune not made for your parts. It's just a generic tune that you use uh, in every car if everyone buys that. But anyways, uh, let's get started. All right, so my first adjustments, I let off early, but it's already making more power. The new one is the green line. The baseline is the red one. So it seems like it just needs a tune. So I'll go ahead and continue with the tune. Man, this thing is really loud, but that's what it's looking like. It just needed a tune really badly. Third, well, second adjustment, third pull, including the baseline, we are now at 10.9 to round it off to 11 wheel horsepower gains. The new line is that orange one. And then there's the torque. Alright, so this one uh, it's overheating a little bit. And I mentioned it to him, so now we're actually bleeding it to see if it's just air in the system or the thermostat. And uh, so obviously I mentioned it to him, and he said that yeah, uh, one of the hoses had ripped and he had a shop somewhere where he lives replace it. So we're thinking they didn't bleed it correctly because right now there are a lot of bubbles coming out. So that's a possibility. All right, so the cooling system is now bled. Everything looks good. So it actually had a lot of air bubbles in the system. So he did say the shop that he took it to, it looks, he said that he remembers that they were taking the air out of the system, but I guess they didn't finish or they thought it was done. But it still had a lot of uh, air bubbles in the cool cooling system so i'm not really sure how long they did it for but it's it's a lot better now all right the tune is done the baseline was 263 now it's making 280 so it gained 17 wheel horsepower the maximum torque was 244 not 247 the peak it gained an amazing 3.3 wheel torque but that's just the peak i mean you can see more like the mid-range right there I just don't want to move the cursors because I haven't told them the numbers yet. And then if I move it right now, I'm going to have to move them back for him. And I like to put them exactly where they're supposed to go, so it takes a little bit. But what do we have here? Around 5,300 RPM. It looks like it gained at least 10 torque right there. Probably two. I might have gained like 15 pounds of torque. 5300 rpm uh, so yeah i posted him on my story and uh wearing his costume the flash costume so uh i think he finally took it off so yeah i can't um record him again because he, he i'm pretty sure it got too hot because it, it looks like it's all leather <laughs> but yeah that's it for this car right here oh yeah so i forgot to do some more explaining so this car did need a tune 
but that number is not really where it should be and this is obviously like I said this is uh, another motor so I'm not too sure if this one is also that good it's not horrible this is just not where it should be it's not even like at the minimum or average it's below so, so something is up somewhere but it's making a lot more power just getting my headlights cleaned at Jesse's new car I'm gonna have them wash that one too and clean his headlights I'll just take it out of Jesse's paycheck. <laughs> I have a 2015 Q50. It's a cream color. Something like that. Some basic mods on 91. Alright, this creamy Q50 is already done. Again, 10 and a half wheel horsepower. Base line is the red one. The gray line is after the tune. The torque was already really, really strong on this one. 250 was the torque before the tune, now it's 257. Very, very good motor on this one. Hopefully he takes care of it. I don't know if he really races a lot, but this is a very good motor. Hopefully he'll go 85 later, maybe some UPT three inch intakes, maybe some cams. But yeah, this is a really good motor. So it's really up to him on how long it's it's gonna last. <laughs> George is over there playing circus music while recording the guys working on cars because we call this um, unique circus because they're always making noises and screaming and animal noises. This one, very nice color. He's from Florida. It's already making 304 to the wheels and 260 torque to the wheels with no tune. That is very, very excellent here on our dyno. Making those numbers with no tune. So that's the baseline. That just has colder intakes, test pipes and dual exhaust. Stock injectors, obviously, since that's the baseline with no tune. This is a 2015 Nismo. All right, I probably should have recorded that, but first adjustments, it is now at 311 wheel horsepower. And 263 torque. A very healthy motor. Very hard to get power out of it. It was already making really good numbers before the tune, and I had already explained it to him. So let's see if uh, we can get any more out of it. So this one is complete. Very, very good motor. The baseline was 304. After the tune is 315. There you go. Very good. 